Hello, seventh grade. Happy Easter. He is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. I certainly hope you had the best Easter weekend with your family. Even if it was different, I hope that God gave you many blessings and so much joy. Um, I am so thankful that we have this Easter Monday off because it truly allowed me to enjoy Easter Sunday with my family and focus on him. And then today I've been able to focus on you and all of your lessons. And so, um, I have prepared the lessons for this week, and I just wanted to give you a little walkthrough because we didn't get to do our live session today. And so um, today, I mean, today or tomorrow, whenever you're watching this, you should be watching this video on Tuesday. Um, and you will notice if you go to the assignments that have been posted, there is a new assignment from Cells to Systems, Tuesday and Thursday's work. Okay, you have to read the instructions or you'll have no idea what to do. Um, but it says that you're gonna be looking at this human body system that you've been assigned. I made it very clear right here at the beginning. So Trace, you're doing the circulatory system. Kate, you're down here at the integumentary system. I know this didn't allow for choice, but I just didn't know the best way to go about it. So I just went ahead and assigned the systems to you. Each person is going to share about their assigned system either visually, I mean visually and orally, meaning that you are expected to do a human body diagram it labels the important components of your human body system within the diagram. For example, if I were doing the circulatory system, I would obviously include the heart and the lungs and the veins and the um, arteries, right? But uh, if I were in the immune system, I might want to go all the way down to cells so I can include my white blood cells, right? So there are some different, um, each system is going to look a little different on the diagram, and that's what makes this kind of fun and unique. Now, if you have sidewalk chalk, I encourage you to have a parent or a friend or a, well, not a friend, obviously, one of your people that you are confined to your household with um, to trace your body and do your diagram right there on your sidewalk. Do it outside. Get some, get some sunshine or rain in your life. Um, if you don't have that, I have attached a template with a body outline and you can print that off and do your diagram on there. That's fine. Um, since I assume you don't all have butcher paper at home where you can do your own full-sized body diagram. But you're going to, in that diagram, like I said, just draw and label the main components of your system. Then, because we know when somebody just drones on and on and on, like your teacher, um, it's not as easy to absorb the information. The oral presentation part is expected to be a poem, an acrostic, or a song that teaches us about the main components of your human body system. It doesn't have to be overly complex. Think like row, row, row your boat, okay? Um, so float, float, float your cells through the bloodstream, right? You can go along those lines to um, teach us about your system, but you can get all the great information stuck in our head so that I will someday remember what the integumentary system does. That is your goal is to teach us those things. As always, a rubric has been provided your timeline or your process is that today you're going to begin researching um, the assigned human body system. You are expected on Tuesday to research enough to fill out this document, the human body systems document, um, about the system that was assigned to you. So use the millions of resources I provided and fulfill that document on Tuesday. If you do that on Tuesday, you will be ready to succeed on Thursday by creating your diagram and then recording yourself with your song, acrostic, or poem, um, and posting that information to one of two places. I've given you options because I didn't want technology to be a barrier for you. So if you like um, to use Flipgrid, then I gave you a Flipgrid about your human body systems, and you can legitimately just get on there, record your video, show us your diagram, ta-da, be done. If you um, don't love Flipgrid, and you'd prefer to do something where you don't have to show your face, then I also created a Padlet. And on this Padlet, you can record all the information you need about your human body systems. So again, I'm trying to make it as easy for you um, to succeed just so that I can see the information. Because if it were up to me, you would just do these as short little presentations in class, not over the internet. So um, I am thankful that we have technology that allows us to still communicate and learn from one another. So you guys are the teachers of all these different systems because if you continue to look at your stream, you will see that there's an assignment that's due next Thursday. It's titled EQ19. I'm sure that's not the right number. I'll change that um, once I figure that out. But it's about the three of our main body systems, circulatory, immune, and digestive system. And if you guys teach us well, then we shouldn't have to do a whole lot of research for it. But there's 
this document here that you're going to be filling out and is due next Thursday about those systems. So you can watch um, what one another has to say, view the Padlets created by each other, and fill out this document. Don't worry though, if you remember properly, um, <laughs> Attached to that first assignment, there are a million different resources that you can use. So I didn't post them to both assignments. I hope that's okay. But these three Discovery Ed assignments take you to literally an entire like four pages about circulatory system, digestive system, and um, immune system, those three main systems we're going to be studying next week. And then these four links are just more information about the human body systems. So I truly believe you have everything you need and more to succeed with these assignments, but you do have to be willing to go look at those resources, so please do. If you have any questions about your work or your expectations this week, please check in with me. I will be live tomorrow from 9.30 to 10.30, and I will be live on Wednesday as well from 9.30 to 10.30. Um, I, will, I try really hard to answer my emails quickly, uh, but usually it's easiest and quickest to fix the problems if you come on the live sessions because I can see what you see and we can talk things through. So please, um, I certainly hope that I get to see your faces some this week. And if not, blessings to you all and I hope to hear from you soon. Bye.